books. And um, the first thing I'm going to get into is title clips. You use title clips for um, like saying stuff like um, today you will learn how to use title clips. Highlight all of it if you want um, to make the font bigger. And as you see over here, the font becomes bigger. Um, you, can, um, you can change the color of your background right here. Say you want it red. It works perfect. Um, you can have an image as your background. Let's just say I do my... Um, let's see, I'll do weather, lightning, and this lightning bolt. Look at that. Sweet. That's... Um, that makes your video look really sweet when you do that kind of stuff because um, it makes um, it very appealing to the eye and if you have um, really cool looking videos obviously you're gonna have more viewers and more better ratings and better comments and it just turned out to be a lot better and so I'm gonna do that and then um, it just goes into um, the clip bin then I'm gonna drag the title clip onto the timeline and then this is gonna pop up um, and you can, um, I have a preset for a high definition. I'm just going to use that, um, well, no, I'll just use the YouTube, the preset for YouTube. Um, I have one of my videos of how to, um, make better presets. You can check that out if you'd like. Um, okay, and then I'm going to say, okay. Another thing you can do is called, um, zoom and pan. So let's say, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to make this longer. I'm going to add a couple more title clips. Like, um, I don't know. I'm just going to say that. Example, this is a tornado. I'm going to open um, now a tornado for the background. And then I have to drag that one onto there. And I'm just going to make a couple more so I can do transitions and stuff. And I'm going to make the background a beach. Okay, now no, that, that should be enough for me to show you a couple things here. So these can be videos, um, and you can even add in pictures. The way you add in pictures and stuff is um, under the add right here, click import media. Media is um, like video files, audio files, images, and um, well, any kind of like picture and stuff like that. I'm just, um, so say I'm just gonna add in, well I have explosion. Um, it's a colon because that's a, um, I have a VLC media player. Um, otherwise, it's, well, it's just a MOV file. I'm going to play that quickly. I'm going to put a download link for that little um, MOV file in the description because I know I wanted that kind for a long time. And I got it from... Um, Actually, I got it from a guy named Montagical. You can look him up for Vegas Pro 8 tutorials. I kind of took it from him, so give it, give him all the credit for that. Okay, and um, now I'm going to do zoom and pan. So zooming and panning and stuff like that. So what you're going to do is you want to find the spot on your video down here where you want to zoom and pan. So I'm going to zoom and pan right here. So you can zoom in. Oh, look how far you can zoom in. Look at that. Well, that's way too far, but it's just so you can have it on today. I'm just gonna go like that. And um, if you look down here, see how it's like a triangle? That is because um of the duration. So if when I play that, see how. It glides in there like that that's the dura duration so you can have it oh I, don't, I didn't mean to do that 
So say on this keyframe right here, you want it to just instantly go there. Then there's no triangle. Say you want it to be really long. So then, um, now watch this. See, it takes a long, longer time to get there. I'm just going to do instant because I hate to look at that. <laughs> and then, um, it'll stay at um, the zoom for the rest of the video until you do another spot that it zooms back out. <laughs> this can cause you troubles if you don't know about it. The next thing I'm going to show you is um, callouts. Callouts are like putting text on the screen and blurring stuff out here. So um, find the spot on your video where you want to add one. So I'll add one right here. Then you click the add a callout or the green plus. And then um, as you see the like an arrow pops up. You can switch. You can add like text like hello. Can read that. That's kind of small. Oh my gosh, that's a bad word. <laughs> you can add hello to that arrow, and you can um, the border color, the fill color, the text, and then you can do two-sided arrows, curved arrows, and dented arrows. And another thing you can do is with the rotation. You know, like that. And then the next thing is the blur callout. Now, as you can see, the green um, border here, that's where the blur is. So say, okay, say you're trying to block out a password, just say for a game you're playing. As you can see, you can kind of see that in the back, the word example. You're just going to want to um, scroll down, and then the blur. Well, it already is 100%, but on smaller words, you can't see it. <laughs> um, you can move that around, adjust the size and whatnot. The next thing I'm going to show you is the highlight. So you can add text in that, obviously, but I don't. Need, you don't really need text to highlight something. So say you want to highlight some words on a newspaper you're showing. This works very great for that. And this video is getting so long that I'm going to add a part two. Click on the screen now to go to part two, and that will show you more about callouts.